Country Manager uh, Philippines of the, uh, of the IFC, Saruo Handayani, the head of the governor's team here uh, for development acceleration, uh, Sutanto Sodojo, uh, the Jakarta's deputy governor for industry, trade, and transportation. Please come on the stage if, 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 if you're here. Nelly Triana, uh, senior editor of uh, Compass Muda, and of course, Dr. Mohamed Yunus, Nobel Prize winner, uh, and founder of the Grameen Bank. Uh, are you all here? Good, okay. Pak Governor, uh, Dr. Yunus, would you come on stage, please? Thank you. Now, for me, I think the, the really the highlight and, and probably the lasting uh, contribution of the New City Summit is the Jakarta Urban Challenge. Professor Yunus, you talked this morning about technology, technological transformation, but also youth. And I think these two things are embodied in the Jakarta Urban Challenge. Um, and it's, uh, and the idea that we can champion homegrown solutions, Indonesian solutions to the problems and the challenges that you face, that's important. That's absolutely vital. And that's what the uh, Jakarta Urban Challenge uh, is all about. I think many of you watched the presentations yesterday from uh, our three finalists, Cyclist Urban System, Jalan Aman, which means safe passage, and Squee Mobile App. And they were absolutely terrific. We launched the uh, challenge early this year to, to find a way to have this kind of lasting impact that will go beyond the two days uh, of this conference. We've partnered with Connect for Climate, uh, who are terrific partners, and this was an appeal to the youth of Indonesia to come up, to form into teams, to come up with solutions. And um, we were absolutely overwhelmed with the response. We never, ever expected to have close to 250 proposals from around Indonesia, and they were absolutely mind-blowing, if I could use a phrase from the 1980s. Um, we had a wide spectrum of categories, uh, behavior changing campaigns, apps, bike sharing systems, ride sharing systems, public transportation infrastructure projects, uh, air filtering mechanisms. I mean, the creativity and the innovation that we've seen is absolutely tremendous. We picked uh, the jury chose the three finalists for their really outstanding responses and creativity in propo proposing new and fresh solutions to the issues and challenges of mobility in this great city. Um, I want to thank, of course, Connect for, 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 for Climate, and as well as our uh, uh, judging panel, in including you, Professor Yunus. And um, last, I think, not least, I want to thank uh, all of the applicants uh, to the Jakarta Urban Challenge. Thank you for stepping up to the plate. You've been absolutely magnificent. So just a <laughs> word of... Uh, it is a monetary prize. The winner receives $10,000, US dollars, uh, $6,000 for second place, and 4,000 for the third place. And the prize money, of course, will be used uh, to kickstart uh, these projects towards the implementation of their projects, towards their, and this is a word I know that is absolutely central to you, Pat Governor, their execution. And that is very, very important. So I would like to announce the, uh, the winners. The third prize goes to Cyclist Urban System. Uh, as we saw yesterday, this is a plan to create cyclist hubs around Jakarta where cyclists can park their bikes, can get dressed or can change, buy refreshments, repair their bikes, obtain first aid in, uh, assistance and route information. And uh, great, great project. And voila, I'm not sure you should take this to a bank, but... Um, <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah. if we can come this way. Here's the thing. Let's give it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
It's a great project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All yours. <laughs> and good luck. <laughs> the second prize goes to Jalanaman. Safe passage. And this, of course, is a mobile application that focuses on the safety of female commuters. It allows users to share their location, report incidences of assault, and access information on safe transportation options from other users. Great project. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> this is your check. Yeah, Great, thank you so much, thank and congratulations. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, you can come from the other side. Come on the other side, come on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and that leaves me the great pleasure to announce the first prize, which goes to Squee Mobile App. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an absolutely marvelous application that unifies pedestrians and cyclists to travel together on shorter, safer, non-motorized routes uh, across and around the urban kampongs of Jakarta. Great project. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Here we go. Great. <laughs> I think I think we should make it an annual event. <laughs> we'll we'll talk to our friends at Connect for Climate, but what do you think about that back over now? <laughs> we just want to know more details. Yes. Could implement or not. Yes, yes, absolutely. But we will be monitoring it very closely. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Very good. Thank you.